Okay, I'm pretty much down to the end now. Got all the cement in here. And before it dried, I thought, well, if I put the um, threshold in, it'll absolutely fit. The cement won't be too high, so I'll just let it harden while it's on there. Because it's something that I don't want to come out anyway. But... I still put a lot of adhesive on the bottom of it, so we'll see how that goes. I'll have to put adhesive along the edges of this as well. So I ran out of cement, so I had to go get another bag. It's hard to figure how much you're actually going to need when you start pouring cement. Yeah, you can see I have my gravel's in there, and everything's ready. So I just got this little patch to do. And all I'm going to do is pull it out, throw it in. And hopefully I've mixed enough, but I'd rather mix too little than mix too much. Because then what am I going to do with the leftovers? So if I have to mix a little more, that's okay. I just won't have any to try to figure out where can I hide it, where can I stick it. Where... I think I might just have the right amount. We'll find out soon enough. Now this bag of cement is... I got a bag that's just topping without the rocks. On the other bag, it was just the standard stuff. And I screened out most of the rocks. At least all the ones going down to a quarter of an inch. It's my screen. Well, I think that's pretty good. One more thing. Now I've got three quarters of a bag of cement left over. Now, if I want to use it in three, six months time, then I store it in a plastic. This is a garbage bin. So no moisture can get in because this stuff will suck up all the moisture really fast. And the next thing you know, you've got a 60 pound rock wrapped in a bag. So that's how I store my excess cement. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching.